Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for July 6th to the 13th. I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you are new or whether you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Let's dive in and see what's going on in your reading this week, okay? Uh, the amulet that you got from Starcy Jewels, which is my jewelry line, I hand make all the pieces, we design them, well I design them all as well here in house, has uh, opalite and lavender amethyst and luminous is all about illuminating the path forward and illuminating your life and your connection to divine okay so or source consciousness so I do feel like this week Aquarius you are going to be receiving or being open to or il being illuminated a path forward on how to deal with a couple of things it's very interesting too I'm sure you're seeing the cards drop down right now I have to just straighten them out you've got a lot of fire a lot of fire happening here for you okay I'm just gonna quickly move here one two three four five six interesting nine of cups at the bottom of the deck we're starting off with a five of wands so the king of wands five of cups looking um there ha may have been a situation with an aries leo sagittarius that didn't necessarily pan out how you thought it was going to aquarius this could have been with a masculine energy an entrepreneur a business owner someone very charming someone potentially well known or in the public eye somebody you dated as well Gemini here showing up as well, Aquarius. Uh, there may have been some communication. There may have been some conversation here happening, but you are not happy about it. As the week progresses, you are not happy about this conversation. I wonder if you are walking into a discussion or a conversation or a negotiation with somebody who has these signs or who just is, I almost want to use the word pompous. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Not sure what that means, but, uh, you know, you'll know, okay? Uh, arrogant a little bit too, maybe, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, this week you're walking in kind of feeling a little bit def defeated or deflated from this conversation, this interaction with this person. If this isn't a person, this is you not believing that you're capable of stepping in and embodying the energy of the King of Wands. And I want you to know that you definitely are, okay? Uh, it may not be the exact replica of the King of Wands, depending on how much fire you have in your natal chart or the fire placements you have, right? But... It doesn't mean that you can't embody that charisma, that charm, that confidence, okay? Don't deny yourself that ability uh, for whatever reason. The mantra card you got here is peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And then breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. So I think you're going to be very surprised. Um, maybe even a little bit uh, taken back, okay, um, with uh, what may actually manifest for you like you might be walking into this week thinking that xyz is not going to happen but the universe is going to illuminate through luminous through this energy of light a new path forward because we have the two of wands and the ace of wands and this is pretty powerful energy here this is a new beginning this is you getting out of your comfort zone okay uh, this is you taking, like, going forward and, like, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that in my head, but that's what's coming in, okay? So this is you thinking about different ways, potentially being strategic, maybe a little bit nostalgic, or thinking back to memories, to childhood, to previous times, and how you navigated and handled these situations, and how you can do that again this time around with maturity more experience and also be successful i almost feel like for some of you as well you're walking away from one person or one situation to make space for another person or another situation with that knight of swords and that world card a cycle here is finally completing for you it almost makes me feel too especially because the gemini card game came out and gemini is mercurial gemini is all about communication gemini is all about tech gemini is all about articulating and intellect and uh, is represented by the magician and the lovers okay and tarot the magician uh being this master manifesto and the lovers making a choice consciously a mature choice okay so it makes me feel like whatever decisions whatever paths you're taking this week aquarius you're using the passion the fire the vitality okay to make it happen 
you're realizing and recognize the strength that exists when you hold the fire within you, the light, right? Fire is light within you. Okay, and with Luminous being the amulet that got called on for you, uh, this is the universe illuminating and you pass. Like you may be sad because you can't go down this road, but the universe has diverged your journey towards this path because this path will give you this thing that you have always dreamed of. It's like secret surprises from the universe, okay, or like magical um Moments of kismet through like random chance that you wouldn't have otherwise had an opportunity to experience or be a part of had you not opened yourself up in this way. Okay, if you want to book a reading with me or pick up your amulet, take a look at the description box below. Also, for those of you that want to become certified tarot readers, my tarot certification course is live. Okay, well, it's going live the 7th, um, but there is a VIP access to it. Take a look at the description box below. There's a few different ways that you can um, become a part of it. You can either do modules on their own, and then when you complete all the modules, you get certified, or you can take my live course, okay, where you get pre recorded modules to practice and work on, and then you'd spend eight hours live and interactive with me. The class is happening in September, right on the new moon in September. And if you know, you know it's a perfect time to start something new. Um, or you can just do the pre recorded option. So there's three different ways to complete the certification. Take a look at the description box below, okay? If you want to become a certified tarot reader, learn to read tarot with me or take my course. So let's dive into this love reading here. Temperance, playfulness, page of swords, trust. And this could be the one knight of cups. Sometimes the universe takes you away from a certain environment or certain people because the universe realizes that those people or that those environments are just not serving you for your highest good. And so it takes you from one environment, from one place, and plops you and puts you in another place. And that's exactly what's happening this week for you, Aquarius. The universe is making magic happen, but it's making magic happen through secret surprises, okay? It's like you won't see these secrets revealed until it's time for you to see these secrets revealed. Uh, I feel like the universe is being really cheeky with you right now. The universe is trying to show you that when you stay in the positivity and you stay in the peace, you stay in that energy of unconditional love, of surrender, of trusting the process and the universe, doors open up for you. When you uh, surrender control or let go of control, page of swords here, trust, yeah, uh, knight of cups here, this could be the one. I feel like um, the universe is going to show you, you know, you were able to put Sorry, or we're able to close this journey or move away from this particular situation. And by surrendering and trusting and moving forward in another path, the doors were able to open to you so you could actually meet somebody else, somebody who's far better suited for you, Aquarius. Okay, really cool energy here happening. And a few things are wrapping up this uh, this uh, week for you. And it makes sense because we just came out of that full moon in Capricorn. All right, if you want to book a session, join the Tarot Intensive or pick up your amulet, it's in the description box below. I'm going to pull up a little video here to help you with manifesting through scripting, uh, especially because you got Mercury and Mercury is like writing. Um, this dream life of yours that you're currently cultivating. Okay, so go watch this video on how to script and manifest. Okay, we will see you later. Alligator, peace out. Bye.